Grabbing headlines, police are looking for the person behind a reported carjacking after they mistakenly took down a man they believed was involved and caused a ruckus at Maryland Live Casino. Today is your last chance to zoom over to the Timonian Motorcycle Show. It's been going on all weekend at the Maryland State Fairgrounds. And that's where we find our Kelly Anderson this morning. And she has a closer look at what is happening there today. Good morning, Kelly. Hey, good morning, Shelly. You know, all morning long, we've been learning uh, about the stories about how much effort people put into their motorcycles. It really is a lifestyle, but it's also about where the motorcycles take their riders. That's why we're here with Lois Price, who just wrote uh, her wonderful book, Revolutionary Ride. It's a really interesting story. Lois, thanks for being with us. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. Yeah, here from London. Exactly. London, right? All the way from London, yes. Wow, very cool. So tell us a little bit about your book. What's this all about? Uh, it's called Revolutionary Ride. It's about a solo 3,000 mile ride I did around Iran. So why why Iran? What brought you there? Well, it's a long story, um, but I've done a lot of uh, motorcycle touring. I've ridden through South America, Africa. Uh, and I'd always been interested in the Middle East, interested in Iran. And one time I got a little note on my bike from an Iranian guy who recognized my bike as, as a sort of traveling touring bike. He said, have you ever been to Iran? It's not what you think it might be. You know, it's not what you hear in the news. We're very friendly, hospitable people. So I thought, well, I'm looking for a new adventure. Why not? <laughs> so uh, off That's I went. Cool. And uh, it was absolutely fantastic experience. Just wonderful. So tell us a little, a little bit about your experience, because you, like you said, you went to a lot of different countries, but this one in particular, you loved it so much you wrote a book about it. What'd you learn? <laughs> I learned that Iran is not what you see in the mainstream news. It's not just the headlines about terrorism or nuclear you know, scientists and all this stuff. The people are incredibly hospitable, friendly, really, really kind. I, was, I couldn't move for people stopping me and giving me food, taking me in. And they were very engaged, very sophisticated culture, and they really wanted to connect with me and the, and the world, and, and they were very, very curious of, uh, and, and also quite saddened about how their country is viewed by the rest of the world. So it really opened my eyes to the reality of, of Iran. And how do you think they responded to you? I mean, you look a little different than the typical Iranian, you know, and you're riding around on this bike. What was that like? <laughs> yeah, I was a bit of a novelty, as you can imagine. Uh, Iranian women are actually forbidden from riding motorcycles, sadly. So I was, uh, yeah, very much sort of stood out. But as soon as people saw me and saw, obviously, uh, what was a foreign bike, you know, British bike with a British license plate, they, people would be stopping me in the street, waving me out of the, uh, you know, out of their windows, filming me from the uh, from the trucks, you know. Uh, they were amazed really to see me there, but also really happy that someone had kind of come on, come into their country just to find out a bit more about it, really. So they were very welcoming and very happy to see travellers and tourists there. Cool. Lois, thank you so much for sharing your story. You can learn more about it here at the Motorcycle Show. She's going to be doing book signings and a speech at noon. Is that right? That's correct. Speech at noon. And we'll bring you more coverage at 1030. But for now, Shelly, back to you. All right. Thanks, Kelly. Never know what you're going to find there. Well, coming up, an 18-wheeler tips over, landing on top of a police car, and why the whole thing was out of the driver's control.